and welcome. You guys, you have been the absolute best. I'm really, really enjoying making these videos for you and you are requesting so many new videos and you are asking the best questions ever. Guys, it's just perfect. I just really wanted to say how thankful I am. Today's video is going to be about a feeding strike because in my latest video, I've been mentioning feeding strikes quite a lot. So I thought that this time I would really go in depth with what a feeding strike really, really is. A feeding strike is basically when your snake stops eating. Usually a feeding strike is mostly connected to the ball python because they are notoriously known of going into these feeding strikes but they do happen in all sorts of snakes some they happen in more and some they happen in less often a feeding strike is basically when your snake refuses to eat no matter what you do and it's often when they refuse to eat over a long period of time I myself has experienced a feeding strike once it was with my golden girl and it can be very very stressful both for you and for your snake of course because as an owner you feel like you're not doing your job well enough that you're basically starving your snake and that can be quite uncomfortable and you tend to panic more and more doing more and more stuff to the snake trying to do this trying to do that uh, to get it to eat and when it doesn't eat it just gets worse and worse feeding strikes they do happen and luckily you can do something about them there are different types of feeding strikes one of them is caused by your terrarium your setup not being on point the second one is because the snake is ill and the third one is because some snakes they just do a feeding strike because that's their nature if you can say it like that some snakes like the adult male corn snake usually when they reach after five will go into a feeding strike during spring and summer for about two months and that's because that they are trying to breed and then food seems to be the last thing on their mind on this note I really want to thank one of you in the comments because you were basically the one giving me this information thank you so much so basically feeding strike does happen some for unnatural reasons and some for natural reasons. The one that we in general should worry about is not the natural one because that one will, what can you say, fix itself, but it is the unnatural one that we need to take care of. A feeding strike that happens because of the terrarium and the setup not being on point is usually because that they are getting stressed in the terrarium, maybe they don't have enough hides, the warmth is not good enough or the humidity is wrong or something like that. So basically the first thing you should do if your animal is going into a feeding strike is check is your setup okay the second reason they can go into a feeding strike is because of the snake being uh, unhealthy or ill and that way you should definitely check for something like a respiratory infection the signs of a respiratory infection is they have slime in their mouth they're having trouble breathing you will definitely hear a hissing noise in that case you need to get them to the vet as soon as possible it can also be something like blood mites blood mites are easy to spot there are these black dots crawling on your snake and when you squeeze them blood comes out out, and it can also be a third illness. These are the two main causes when we are talking about an unnatural feeding strike. If your snake is ill, of course you should take it to the vet and after going through the treatment, the snake should go back into eating again. I had two of my bull pythons had a respiratory infection while under the treatment, both of them refused to eat. But as soon as the treatment was done and they were showing signs of recovery, both of them would eat just like before. If your snake is going into a feeding strike because of the terrarium, it is very, very important that you take a Good look at it and you try to change it for the better as you may remember I had my golden girl my ball python she went into a feeding strike what I basically did and I know that this has worked for two other people after I posted the video I took her out of her terrarium it was it was a big terrarium it was open and I took her out of that and I put her into a smaller one with height with water and with warmth and I basically covered the terrarium with a towel of course making sure that air could get through so she could breathe but I covered it with a towel and I left her completely alone for a week only checked on her once a day see if she was okay of course and if she had water I didn't handle I didn't do anything but check for water after that week I tried to feed her and BAM she took it right away so that thing has definitely worked for me it has worked for two other people as well I really want to introduce this is Nagini she's a corn snake and usually corn snakes are not known for this feeding strike except for the males when they get into maturity those two months a year usually corn snakes are very good eaters but this corn snake had a feeding strike and the owner wrote me and was very very concerned what the owner did was trying exactly what I did in the video covering the terrarium with a towel leaving it completely alone for a week and bam again as you can see the snake ate this might be a trick for you if you are experiencing your snake 
going into a feeding strike, try this trick. Put them in a terrarium, put a towel on top of it, leave them completely alone for a week, only check on them once a day to see if water is good. Other than that, don't handle, don't lift up the towel during the day and don't do anything. Leave it completely alone and after that one week, try to feed. So the number one reason for a feeding strike is really that your snake is stressed. Usually bull pythons, they do tend to get more stressed easily. That is why it is so important that you have plenty of hide so that your bull python can feel completely safe. They are nocturnal in nature, they do live underground in small hollows, so that's what they're used to. So if you can replicate that for the bull python, then you're definitely on the right road for them to feel safe. A more serious thing to talk about is what happens if you don't do anything to treat this feeding strike. If you're telling yourself the snake will probably eat when it's hungry and you don't do anything to change it, that can be very, very dangerous. When snakes are stressed and they refuse to eat and they go into this feeding strike, they will eventually lose weight and that can become very, very dangerous. Like my golden girl, she was starting to lose weight, I could see her spine and that's very, very bad. If the snake continues to lose weight, it might end up dying because it won't eat. A person once wrote me having trouble with uh, his ball python eating and I tried to suggest all sorts of different things. I don't know if he did him or not. A couple of weeks later, he wrote me again uh, with a picture of the snake. It was dead. It died of hunger. If the snake is stressed, it won't just eat because it's hungry. It will literally die of starvation. Even though you leave the mouse in there or the rat in there, the snake refuses to eat because it's stressed. It's very, very important that you create this safe environment for the snake, making it feel secure, making it feel safe. That is the number one thing to do when trying to avoid a feeding strike. All right, guys, that's all for today. I really do hope you enjoyed this short video and introduction to what a feeding strike is. I'm definitely going to go more in depth with this whole subject because I'm also doing a video on how to teach your ball python to go from eating live to eating dead. So I'm definitely going to do more videos about this subject because I think it's really, really important that all of you guys get to know as much as possible as you can about these feeding strikes because they are so, so stressful for you as, as an owner and also for the snake. So thank you guys so much. I really do hope you enjoyed the video. As usual, please leave a like so I know that you like what I make. Also, while you're at it, just hit subscribe on that channel. We are closing in on 1,500. When we hit 2,000, as I promised in one of my earlier videos, I do have have a surprise for all of you. Can't wait to share it with you because it's gonna benefit all of you so, so much. So when we hit 2,000, big surprise is coming. As usual, you can find me on Instagram under the name Justice Jungle. Thank you guys so much for now and bye-bye.